Welcome to Learning Expression Engine 2. In this series of videos, we are going to build a website from beginning to end in Expression Engine. Before we get started building the site, we need to in first install Expression Engine. So let's go ahead and do that now. For this installation, I'm going to make two assumptions. The first is that you already have a copy of Expression Engine 2, and that if you don't have a licensed copy, that you can go ahead and purchase it from ExpressionEngine.com. Now, if you do already have one but need to download it, you can log in at ExpressionEngine.com, go to your name and hover over it, and then choose My Purchases. I'm also going to assume that you have a web host or a place where you can install and run Expression Engine. If you don't have a web host, you want to make sure that they, of course, support PHP and MySQL applications and that they meet the requirements for Expression Engine. The requirements for Expression Engine are PHP version 5.1.6 or newer, MySQL version 4.1 or newer. You need to have 32 megabytes of memory allocated to PHP, and you need to make sure you have a MySQL database, a username and password to access that database. You also want to make sure you have the database name handy because in just a minute, we're going to need to enter that information. If you're still not sure if your web host supports Expression Engine 2, you can go to the requirements page and download the server wizard. Now this server wizard you will then upload to your server and access in the browser and it will run a series of tests to see if your web host does indeed support Expression Engine 2. One other thing I want you to do is make sure that you have already downloaded the code samples and most especially the static templates for this series of videos. These static templates are just HTML and CSS templates for the Channel University website that we are going to build in this series. So please go to majingo.com slash code and grab those templates now. We're going to need to upload them here in just a minute. All right, let's go ahead and hop over to our FTP program and start installing Expression Engine. First thing we want to install is we want to upload our Expression Engine 2 files, and I have them here in my downloads folder. So we're going to go in and we're going to go ahead and select everything and then upload them to our server. Now, one thing that I like to do is rename the system directory to something of our choosing. And uh, this is a little bit of security through obscurity, but it's a nice idea just to give this your own name. And in this case, we're going to call it Unimin. And we need to let Expression Engine know that the name of this system folder has changed because in the system folder are all of the files that Expression Engine uses to actually run. So we want to open up two files, the admin.php file and the index.php file. So we'll go ahead and open up admin.php. We're going to scroll down here where it says system path. And we're going to change this system to unimin and save that. And then go back and do the same thing in the index.php file. There we go, unimin. We're going to save that. We now want to upload some of the assets for our Channel University site. So we go into our downloads and we have the static templates folder that we downloaded from majingo.com slash code. We'll go into here and you can see there are two folders we want to uh, work with. There's one here with the dash and then one here called FPO. And FPO just has some sample images that we're going to be using. And the dash has CSS, some images, and some JavaScript. So we want to take dash and FPO and upload them to the root of our project here on the server. Okay, with those uploaded, we want to go ahead and make sure we have permissions set properly. For permissions, we need to make sure we have our config.php file and our database.php file set to the permissions of 666. On Windows, this would be writable. We also want to make sure we set our cache directory to the permissions of 777. And in our image directory, we have several folders in there that we want to make sure we set also 
to 777. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to go ahead into the unimin directory and then into expression engine and then config and then we want to go to config.php right here and we're just going to right click on it and go to get info and here we can set our permissions so we're just going to set them to 6 for this 666 and click apply and then we want to do the same thing for our database file database.php should be 666 and apply and then our cache directory here we want to set the permissions on this to completely writable 777 click apply and then we want to go into our images and we want to go back to our site root and right here images the first we want to do is images and then avatars and uploads we want to set this to 777 and then we want to go back to images and go to captchas and set this to 777 and then we also want to go to member photos and set this one to 777 and PM attachments and signature attachments it's all going to be 777 and then image uploads 777 and click apply and that is all we need to do to make sure our permissions are set. So this is a very important step. You want to make sure you don't overlook setting the proper permissions. If you have any problems setting permissions, make sure that you uh, resolve those before moving forward with the installation because it can cause problems with the installation. So we're going to punch in our URL here and uh, then use the unimin directory name there and we are greeted with our installation screen and we just need to walk through the wizard enter some information and install expression engine so it says that it did some checks and there aren't any errors and we are ready to install the most current version so we'll click to install brand new copy and we need to agree to the license terms and now if we need to we can put our expression engine license number in here and then we have some server settings the name of the index.php file which we'll leave our URL where the index file is which is correct and the URL to the control panel access file and then the email address and we'll just put in the email address here and then we need to go ahead and input our database information so the server address is localhost and that's correct for us and I'm going to go ahead and input our username and our password and then the database name is channel u now the SQL prefix is what expression engine uses to prefix the table names in expression engine uh, we're going to keep this to exp and now we want to go ahead and scroll down and create our admin account we'll call it admin and we'll put in our password and our email and then the screen name we'll say administrator and then the name of our site is going to be channel university since that's the name of the website we're building and then for choose your theme I'm gonna go ahead and choose a empty installation now here I'm going to go ahead and uh, check a couple of modules that I want to install like the pages module and we're gonna go ahead and install the file module and uh, let's see how about we'll also install the query module I want to make sure we set our time zone properly I'm gonna go ahead and set this for central time and that we are yes currently observing daylight saving time all right, and with all this done, we can click Install Expression Engine to install it. 
And there we are. We have a message that Expression Engine has been successfully installed. And it gives us an important warning that we need to remove the installer folder inside of our system directory. So we can go back to our uh, FTP program here on our server and go into Unimin. And here's the installer. And we're just going to go ahead and delete that. And with that gone, we can now access our control panel right here at Unimin. And there we are. We are ready to log into our control panel and start using Expression Engine. I want to talk about some troubleshooting techniques you can use if you're having problems installing Expression Engine. First thing is to make sure that your server meets the requirements by using the server wizard that we talked about at the beginning of this video. Also make sure that all of your permissions are set properly on all of the files that are listed. And if you need to, you can refer to the user guide. There is an installation guide there. Make sure that you followed all of those steps as well. Also make sure you have your MySQL database set up with the username and password and that you inputted the proper information in the wizard. If you have any other problems and you've done all of that uh, troubleshooting, you should post a message to the support forums at expressionengine.com slash support and one of the staff members will help you get your problems sorted out.